Brazil and we went to Christ the Redeemer and it is the craziest <laughs> wonder of the world we've ever been to. Just so busy. And this is the low season. So after a crazy amount of people at Christ the Redeemer, we decided to take a little bit of a city break and go through a park that goes up to the top of Sugarloaf. You can take a cable car, but it's out of our budget and we felt like we needed exercise and we wanted to break it from people, so. Next morning, we met up with a local guide to tour us around his community of Hosinia. But before the tour actually started, we took a moto taxi to the top of the community because it's a really steep hill and that way we could do the tour walking downhill instead of up. And it was also just really fun to ride a motorcycle throughout the community and get a preview of the place that we were going to learn a lot about. escaped the crowds of Rio and headed north to Ariel de Cabo and today we're gonna check out the area all around but the weather just hasn't really cooperated so instead of hanging out on the beach we're just gonna go walk around. So after a bit of a long travel day, we made it to Ilha Grande. So it's an island that's just like, just off the coast of mainland Brazil, kind of in like, right in between Sao Paulo and Rio. It's hot. It is hot. And we decided to do a hike on the only sunny day we've had in a couple days. So we are sweating. I can't and it see, is because my glasses are so foggy. It's so humid. It is so humid. <laughs>
So after a super long travel day, we are in Salvador. It is famous for the colorful buildings. It is incredibly beautiful. We are having a great time so far. It's actually originally the capital of Brazil before they moved it to Rio and then to Brasilia. So we're gonna go check out some colonial buildings and just have a great day. So the guide at our hostel gave us a million things to do, but we only have one day here. We're gonna see how much we can tick off. There's so much. couple days exploring the island of Sao Paulo or Moro de Sao Paulo and now it's starting to rain so it's a good time to jump on a boat back to Salvador where we're gonna hop on a plane and head to the city of Sao Paulo. We were lucky enough to meet up with my friend from university and her family and they were kind enough to show us around the city. Sao Paulo and taking a boat, well, a very long car ride, then a boat to Ilha Bela, which is an island here in Brazil. And we're spending it with our friend's sister and her partner and a couple friends that we met in Ilha Grande. And today we are going to go on a Jeep adventure. I don't know quite what that means, but I think we're gonna go around an island on a Jeep and it's gonna be really fun. And we're gonna go to a beach. <laughs> After a wonderful few weeks in Brazil with some really great friends, it was time for us to jet off for the next adventure, which ended up being flying next to a thunderstorm. 